Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip about how to properly put a tent on a footprint, or more importantly, how to put a footprint underneath a tent. Now, this isn't going to be a part of the debate about whether or not to use a footprint. That's a whole different subject. And that's going to be the topic of another video. But this is for those of you who do use a footprint. It's important to know whether your footprint is porous or not. And what I mean by porous? Water can pass through it. If you have your footprint, it's very easy to test. You simply dip, take a container, like an ice cream container, place a corner of your footprint in it, pour some water in, push it down a little bit, and then pour some water in. Gather up the footprint, and if it doesn't hold any water, you have a porous footprint. You probably don't have to worry about this tip any. However, if you have a non-porous footprint, like this one, you can take that same footprint, this is just a different material, pour some water into the container, gather it up, and you can see that it is holding the water. You can even hear it sloshing around in there. What that means is, this is a non-porous footprint. Now, the reason this is important is when you set up a tent with a non-porous footprint, it's very important not to have the footprint stick out from underneath the tent. The reason being, any rainwater that comes off the tent and hits this footprint is going to end up underneath the tent. And here's why. When you set your tent up and you're using a footprint, you're going to throw your footprint out. And let's say this is where we're going to set our tent up right here. Look what happens when the tent gets set up and I crawl around inside. I push that footprint down, but I'm not pushing it down out here. So if you have this shed, this ability to shed water underneath the tent, basically what you're doing is all around your tent, you're setting up literally a cookie sheet. And when it rains, water comes in, gets onto that cookie sheet of a footprint, and that water has no place to go. It will simply be held in there between the floor of your tent and your footprint by the water repellency of the footprint. That's going to cause two problems. First off, very few tents are absolutely, totally, 100% waterproof on the floor. If water gets underneath there, it will find a way to percolate up into your tent, getting you and your gear wet. That's inconvenient, it's troublesome, and in some cases, even deadly. So, the idea here is to make sure, if you use a footprint, to make sure that it does not stick out. Either tuck it up underneath or fold it up. Now, I see a lot of people use these blue tarps. There's nothing wrong with these. You can just assume these are non-porous. That's what they're made for. But I see a lot of people, they'll get like a six by eight tent and get an eight by 10 tarp. And they'll set it out so the tarp is sticking out a foot all the way around. That is just gonna put water underneath the floor of the tent, between the floor and the footprint. Not only is it gonna percolate up, but if you have your tent sit there long enough, it's just like putting your tent away wet. It's going to get mold and mildew underneath there. And that's the last thing you want is to ruin the floor of your tent with mold and mildew. So if you use a footprint and it's non-porous, make sure you fold it up or tuck it up underneath so you cannot see it. So any rainwater that comes off of your tent goes into the ground and is not captured by a footprint sticking out like this because this is going to eventually cause problems. When I get into this tent and I start pushing down in here, the water, in fact, there's water up underneath there already. So this is Backpack Hat coming at you with this tip. Make sure that if you have a non-porous footprint that it is completely concealed by the tent floor itself. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share on my videos. Be safe out there, and I'll see you out on the trail.